Shiftcare is set up to work really well with your accounting software, whatever that may be, but it also has the ability to generate and send invoices directly from the platform, either manually or by using the reminder function to send out automatically. What we're looking at here is the invoice settings under the accounts menu where I can go in and set up the way that my invoices work, both for sending directly from the Shiftcare platform, but also so the information that gets sent through to my accounting software is accurate and everything that I need. First of all, we'll cover off what uh, the invoice settings do. So first we go through and enter all of our company details, our ABN, uh, company address, phone number, payment terms, contact email, in here, I can go in and create a template email that will be included in the automatic sending of invoices. Down here, we have the decimal rounding, your NDA provider number. If you are registered for the NDIS uh, and you are claiming through uh, PROTA, this is uh, what you would need to do here. Down here, we've got cost calculation is based on start or end time, depending on what the requirements are for your business. Here we have a section to include a label for cancelled shifts. So within the rostering platform, you have the ability to cancel a shift and either charge the client or not charge the client. If you're opting to charge the client, uh, you can include this cutoff message here. And then probably the most powerful function within here is the invoice uh, default description format. So here it has a, a template that I've already created, but if you click on the question mark here, it will bring up all of the information that can go into the invoice description. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second, but this is all of the information that you can uh, put in here. So for example, I have client, so that's going to pull through the client's name from the client's profile. And then I have the static information NDIS reference. And then after that, it's going to have the client's reference number if there's a client, if there's an NDIA reference number against the client. And then I have the at symbol, shift start time, shift end time, shift date. Pricebook is pulling in the name of the service that was provided from the Pricebook that's loaded into the platform. Pricebook reference number, if it is a NDIS uh, service that you've provided, then the reference number would be there. Or if it's a custom uh, service that you've provided and the reference number that you've provided in your price book would pull through from there. If there was a client expense and the shift type would all pull through to there. So I'm just going to jump in and show you what this looks like from the invoice section. So if I go through to invoices and then click on list, and then just click on a more recent invoice. You can see here that my invoice is set up like so. I have my description here. So we have Hugh, uh, client is just the way that my demo account is set up. It won't actually say client, it'll just have whatever their display name is. NDIS reference number. In this instance, they don't have a reference uh, number. Here we have uh, start and end time, date, name of the shift, reference number, and then the type of the shift. We've got the different types of services that are there. And so you can see here that I've got um, a different, uh, couple of different items on the invoice. Up in the top here, I have my business details. I have the address details of either the client or the billing contact if there is a billing contact on the client's profile uh, and then i have the invoice details here as well if i scroll down a little bit i have my payment methods i have the total i have my options for this invoice as well so i can email it directly from here and this is where it if we go back into the settings for the invoice this is where this email here would uh, be sent from, um, or the content of that email uh, would appear in the email if I clicked here. I can print this invoice if I want, print it to PDF and then attach it to a, uh, an email that I send using my email client. When I click edit, 
I have the ability to change to who it's being addressed to, either the client or the billing contact, and have the ability to edit the description. I can't edit any of the details here because these are all driven by the roster. I would have to go in and void this invoice if the timesheet has been approved, unapprove the timesheet, and then make changes to the shift, and then I would be able to generate the invoice with the correct information in it. So that hopefully explains how the invoicing side of Shiftcare works and some of the functionality. If you want greater detail on this, you can jump into our help center and search invoices, and you'll be presented with a heap of articles on uh, all of the different functionalities within uh, the platform. Mm -hmm.